today we're going to be talking about nets, isometric, and orthographic drawings. Let's get started. So a net is basically kind of when you flatten a three-dimensional object. So for example, let's look at a cylinder. So if we had a cylinder, uh, let me use a different color. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten it out. So I'm going to roll out this part. And when I roll out the cylinder part, I get a rectangle, right? Because if I um, wrap this, this um, sheet of paper into a circle, I get this lateral area of the cylinder. Now realize I have two circles. So when I unwrap that, my two circles need to be there, right? Well, one circle can be here, this will be the bottom circle, and the other circle can be here, right? This will be the top circle. And I can fold these circles in when I'm wrapping. Okay, so this would be the net of a rectangle. Now also, let's look at the net for a triangular prism. So here is a triangular prism. Okay, so the net, when we unravel the lateral area, we would get three parts. And we'd also have two triangular faces, one on the top, one on the bottom. So we could draw, it, draw the triangular faces right here. Okay? Now let's move on to isometric drawings. So isometric drawings basically show 3D figures such as in 2D, 3D figures in 2D from a corner, from a corner. So although this is 2D, it looks 3D because we're showing it from a corner. So for example, let's draw uh, a cube in as an isometric drawing. So we look at it from a corner. So this would be our top face, right? And then here would be our lines, our other faces, and there it is. So this would be a cube in isometric drawings. Now realize the isometric graph paper goes with alternating dots in a sense. Okay, I just want to let you know that. Let's move on to orthographic drawings. Now orthographic drawings basically take a 3D figure and draw the top view, the front view, and the right side view in 2D. So for example, we're going to draw an orthographic um, drawings for this figure. So from the top, when I look at it at the top, and if I smash this down and this down to the ground, what would I get? Or if I'm basically if I'm looking at it from a bird's of eye view, I just get two squares, right? Now if I'm looking at it from the front, this is the front and this is the right. If I'm looking at it from the front, I just see an L-shaped figure, right? So, it's going to look like this, where, yeah, so this is how, actually it would not look like that. This is how it would look, right? Because I'd have two squares here, and let me actually look, do outline a different color. I would have two squares right here, and I have three squares vertically, just like I have here. So three square, squares vertically and two squares horizontally. Okay, now let me draw the right side view. Well, if I'm looking at it from the right, basically what I want to do is I want to squish this right into the back, right? I'm squishing this as far as back as I can. So this one would just look like this, right? The right side view would just look like three um, squares put together. Let me show it in a different color. So basically, we'd see this square, we'd see this square, and we'd see the front, or the right side of this square. Okay, so I hope that helped, and I hope to see you soon.